Hello, all the students of class 6, you all are welcome to Managing Online Schools. I know we are passing a very crucial moment as the pandemic corona is spreading fast. I also know we are not well, but we have to perform our duties properly. As you are a student, student, you have to read or write at your home. I am a teacher, I have to perform my duty. That is why I want to give a thanks to the authority of this school. This virtual school is playing a very vital role for the students and teachers now. Before starting my class, I want to introduce myself. I am Mohammad Rajal Kurim, assistant teacher, Mamichan Jalai School. Today, I'll discuss about a very important topic of class 6 from second paper. Though many students think it is a very hard topic or very difficult topic, but Actually, it is not. It is not the fact. Just keep with managing online school and listen to me. I hope you will be benefited and this topic will be easy. But what will be the topic? Today, I'll teach you a topic that is transformation. Transformation. Today, I will teach you transformation. In your in second paper of class 6, you will find this topic for 5 marks. So, I think it covers about 10%. So, it is very important for you. When I will talk about transformation, then I have to say 2 or 3 words about transformation. Transformation is a word which is from transform. Transform means alter or change. That means transformation is a that topic where we have to change or alter one sentence into another form. What type of sentence will we change here? So, at first, we have to know what will we do in this topic. What we should know to ensure these five marks. So, I have to know at first sentence. Yes, sentence is keenly associated with transformation. So, I am talking about transformation just two or three words. I will not kill too much time telling about sentence. What is sentence? In our life, we always converse with different type of people in different ways. Sometimes you try to describe something, sometimes you ask something, sometimes you order someone or you request some, someone, sometimes you wish, you, you, we wish for someone or something and we also express our sudden feeling. So, sentence is a that important topic which is must for living our livelihood. What is sentence? If I express the definition, it will be sentence is a combination of a group of word. Or sentence is a combination of a group of word that express or that expresses the complete sense or complete meaning 
of a individual of an individuals i hope you have understood the meaning and the definition of sentence now i will classify the sentence according to meaning just remember according to meaning sentence is five types number 1 assertive number 2 interrogative number 3 Number three, imperative. You all know, so I don't write this. You all know this. I know. That is why I do not write this, and the disposal is very short, and so I cannot write this. Sentence is five types. One is assertive. Number two is interrogative. Number three is imperative. Number four is optative. Number five is exclamatory. At first, I'll talk about assertive. what is assertive sentence assertive sentence is that sentence which asserts something or someone what is interrogative sentence interrogative sentence is that sentence by which we ask something or someone to ask anything or to ask something we use this type of sentence when we describe something or someone then we use assertive sentence what is imperative sentence imperative sentence is that sentence which expresses order request and advice etc what is optative sentence optative sentence is that sentence which expresses a wish or a desire of a mind what is exclamatory sentence exclamatory sentence is that sentence which expresses the sudden feeling of a mind of an of an individual i think you all have understood what is sentence and its classification just i want to express two new word that is not new word you all know it i'll talk about you about assertive because assertive is two types assertive is two types one is affirmative one is affirmative another is negative assertive is two types one is affirmative another is negative what is affirmative what is negative we have to know this also affirmative sentence is a that sentence which affirm something or someone negative sentence is that sentence which denies something or someone perhaps you have understood now i i will give you an example of an affirmative sentence and a negative sentence this sentence i will help you here the speaker or the writer expresses an affirmative affirmative sentence because it affirms something where we express we, uh, we we give in give an a negative example that it will be i won't or will not help you here this sentence expresses someone's deny or someone's denies i hope you have understood what is affirmative sentence and what is negative sentence today i will discuss transformation and and not transformation not not whole transformation i'll discuss affirmative into negative 
of transformation. I hope you will be benefited if you keep your eyes on my Mentioning Online School and keep with me. Perhaps it will be easy for you. Okay, we are going to change or transform affirmative sentence into negative sentence. Well, I want to add one thing in transformation when you will change one sentence into another sentence then we have to keep the meaning unchanged. You have to remember it. We have to keep the meaning of sentence unchanged. You have to remember it. I am telling it again. You have to remember the meaning will never be changed. Okay. Transformation affirmative to negative. We often expresses different type of sentences. It may be affirmative, it may be negative, but as we have to perform it, so we have to know some rules. Not only rules, we have to earn some tactics also. Because everything is not be done by the rules. So, you have to be careful. What are we doing? What are you doing or what you are doing? So, when we will read affirmative to negative or when we will transform affirmative to negative, then we have to read some rules and some tactics. At first, I am telling you some rules and after that, I will tell you some tactics. How can we perform it easily? How can we done it easily? Or do it how can we do it easily affirmative to negative number one rules number one rules in an affirmative sentence you may find only or alone what which are only or alone you may know only only or alone and the meaning of only and all or alone and we Replace this only or alone by none but nothing but not more than but there is something hidden meaning. You have to be careful. What are we reading? So when you find this word only and alone in an affirmative sentence and you are ordered or you are asked to change or transform this sentence into negative then you will replace this and this word by none but, nothing but, or not more than, or not, not less than. Like this? None but, nothing but, not more than, not less than here you have to remember that this then is t h a n then not t h e n then there is there is an explanation explanation to why t h a n why t h e n is not I will explain it next time. Okay. When we find only or alone in an affirmative sentence, we have to change or we have to replace these two words by none but, nothing but, not more than or not less than. But when we will use none but, nothing but, not more than or not less than. When this word only or alone modifies a personal noun or personal pronoun then we will replace it by none but 
when this two word modifies a lifeless things then we uh, replace it by nothing but when this only or alone modifies a number or as adjective then we will replace it not more than or not less than just i am giving you example i have to erase it for the shortness of place Here I wrote a sentence that is only our teacher can help us. Here I can write this sentence in another way that is our teacher only can help us. What is only? What is the meaning of only? Only means merely. Our teacher is able. Our teacher is enough to able. So the the synonyms of only is merely. Thus here is also a synonym that is the the none but and nothing but is also a synonym of only. So you have to remember it. None but nothing but is also a synonym of only that is why we replace this only by none but nothing but you have to remember it here this only modifies this subject and personal subject our teacher so here we can replace only using none but so the answer will be, I cannot write here, the answer will be none but our teacher can help us. I hope you have understood. Here I write another sentence though the meaning, meaning is same. Our teacher only can help us. Here this only also modifies our teacher. But where? We will, we, will, we, will, we sit or add this nothing but or none but. Here is only. We will use none but here or on the other place. Just here you have to remember a tips. That is only or alone modifies a noun or a pronoun or an adjective etc. Yes, this only or alone modifies a noun or a pronoun so we just use this none but or nothing but before that noun what this only or alone modifies just remember it as this only modifies this so we use none but before this subject so the answer is same the answer will be none but our teacher can help us i think you have understood now we will turn into nothing but that means lifeless object if you have any question then you can comment through comment box The child loves toys only. 
here I wrote a sentence that is the child. The child loves toys only. Here I find a word that is only. And it is an affirmative sentence. We have to change it into negative sentence. When we have to change it negative sentence, then we search something. Is there any word which is known to me to change into negative? Here we find a word that is only. Yes, this only modifies, here the only modifies the toys. It is a lifeless object. Yes, it is a lifeless object. So we have to use here, we have to replace this only by no, nothing but. I hope you have you have been under, you have understood. This only will be changed by nothing but. But where will we use this nothing but? The child, the child loves toys nothing but, or the child loves nothing but toys. At first, I said you only modifies a word. But just the word by the word which we change or alter or replace only, just we sit before that word what this only or alone modifies. So we just use nothing but here. And the answer will be the the child loves nothing but toys. Do you understand? I hope you have understood. The none but and nothing but and will turn into not more than or not less than. Suppose you have 30 taka in your pocket. Yeah, here I want to write another sentence that is I am 30 only only 30 and I missed a word that is only here I wrote two sentences that is I have only 30 taka in my pocket it is an affirmative sentence I am 30 only that means my age is 30 I am 30 only. Here we find two sentences that is where yes, this word only modifies an adjective or a number. That is why we replace this only using not more than or not less than. So where will we use this not more than or not less than? If I form a negative form of this sentence then what will be? I am 30, not more than, or not, I am not more than 30. So, just recollect me, what I said at first, just, this only modifies this number. So, we use not more than or not less than before this word. So, the answer will be, I am not more than 30 or not less than 30. You have understood, I hope. Here, the answer will be, I have only 30 taka in my pocket. Only. Only. I have only 30 taka in only. The, as it indicates 30. So, we have to use here, I have not more than 30 taka in my pocket or I have not less than 30 taka in my pocket. I think you all have understood only the rules of only or alone. Number two, number two rules, that is when we find in an affirmative sentence must have to has to had to 
need to or needed to this word we may find this word in an affirmative sentence so when what they express do you know what is the meaning of must must have to has to had to expresses the obligation here must have to has to had to need to needed to is also expresses the obligation when we find this word in an affirmative sentence then we replace this word by using cannot but or cannot help or cannot how can we replace this word when we transform an affirmative sentence into negative sentence just must have to has to had to need to needed to will be replaced by cannot but or cannot help there is a point when we find a past from had to is a past from needed to is a past from then we just use not cannot but just we use could not but here we also use could not help so just i am giving you an example you can write this because it will be helpful must have to has to had to need to needed to will be replaced by cannot but or could not but or cannot help or could not help according to the rules according to the tense okay i am giving you an example must suffer in the long run we must suffer in the long run here we find a sentence a word that is must so we can replace this must using cannot but or cannot help but what will happen if i use cannot help or what will happen if i use cannot but we must will be replaced cannot but we cannot but suffer in the long run it will be a negative form otherwise we can transform it into another form that is we cannot help when we use help then we must add or we must change into a this word or this verb into ing form then the answer will be we cannot help suffering in the long run so you can follow this two rule perhaps you have understood now i am giving you another example that is we have to we have to suffer in the long run just have to will be replaced by cannot but the answer will be we cannot but suffer in the long run if we find had to what will be just here we use we could not but suffer in the long run perhaps you have understood all this two rules one by one i will make you clear all the rules and all the tactics how can we transform affirmative sentence into negative sentence easily and how can we get full marks in this topic just keep your eyes on my teaching online school and i hope i will be clear you i will to i will be i will help you to clear it now we are going to rule number 3 rule number 3 Number three, in affirmative sentence, we may find another word or another phrase or another conjunction that is as soon as.
What is the meaning of as soon as? Do you know? As soon as is used when something will perform immediately after something has done. That means one one deed or one work will perform after another or, or immediately after another or just we can use it here just after time as soon as when we find an affirmative sentence in uh, uh, with as soon as then we'll change it when we will change it into negative then we will use no When we find an affirmative sentence where as soon as is available, then we will replace as soon as by no sooner had and then. But where we will use then? We will use this then between two work or two sentences. If I give you example, then you will clear. But you have to remember here we have to use T H A N, not T H E N, because there is a comparative form here, sooner. S O O N E R, sooner. Sooner is in a comparative form. That's, that is why we have to use here T H A N, not T H E N. You have to remember it. When we find any comparative, then we will find a comparison, such type, like this type of word, then. So, I will give, give you an example. That is, as soon as I saw my mother as soon as I saw my mother she started to rebuke me here you have to remember another things that is as soon as means 22 non roll. As soon as means 22 non. That means both verb are in past form. Means present form is number one, past form is number two. We can use it to make, to clear it easy. So, as soon as means 22 non roll. Here, both verb, both the verb will be in past from like as as soon as i saw my mother so so is the past from of c she started started is a past from of start that means it is two it is two two and two means 22 as soon as is in 22 form but this word as soon as or this conjunction as soon as will be replaced by no sooner had and we have to use a then between two sentences that means instead of this comma the answer will be i cannot write this because there is no scope to write so i am uh, i am telling you the answer what will be as soon as will be replaced by no sooner had. As we use here had, so after had, we know we have to use the part, part, past participle form of verb. So we have to use here not see, not so. We have to use here seen. 
no sooner had I seen my mother. This comma will be replaced by then, T-H-A-N, then. She started to rebuke me. The answer, what will be the answer? The answer will be, no sooner had I seen my mother, then she started to rebuke me. Here, we have to use sin means past participle from. That means three, be three. No sooner had I seen my mother. Here, we have to use then. T-H-A-N, not T-H-E-N, T-H-N, she started, started is in past form, that is why we can call it 32 non rule, that means as soon as 22, no sonar has, no sonar had 32, I think you have understood, you can change it in such way, I have, we have completed these three rules, number four rules, Number four, we may find in affirmative sentence extra word or another word. That is every plus noun. Example, every mother loves her child. Every father earns money to run his family. Here we can find every plus noun plus must we can find these two type of word when we face transformation one by one I will clear you here we find a sentence every plus noun plus extension something else now I'll describe this describe this sentence. Every father money to run his family. According to the perspective of our country, every father earns money to run his family. What is the meaning of every? Every here, every means each, each father or every father earns money to run his family. When we find such type of word, we have to replace this every by using some word just to keep the meaning same. Every will be replaced by there is no. So here we have to use every will be replaced by there is no. There is no father. Just every will be replaced by there is no. So if we change every, what will happen? There is no father. Okay. And then we will find, we may find verb. The before verb we have to use but or who cannot. We can use this two word or phrase. That is 
the answer will be every will be changed as I said every will be changed there is no so we are writing here there is no there is no there is no father but then here we have to use a but the what will be the meaning there is no father but earns money to run his family the answer will be every father earns money to run his family the negative form will be there is no father but earns money to run his family we can change it into another form that is there is no father who cannot earn or who won't cannot earn then you have to we, we have to erase this as s just we can answer it in two ways there are many ways to answer it but i just inform you these two ways you can you can use this two ways and you can transform these affirmative sentences into negative sentence in such way i think you have understood if if you have any query then you can ask me through comment box or you can comment me through comment box number 5 Every plus noun plus must. When we find this must in such type of sentence, will we change this must or every? What will we change? So to make you clear, I give you such example, or I I'll, I'll give you an example of it. Suppose I provide an example. That is, everybody must go to market. Here you can change. If we change this, what will be the negative sentence? Everybody cannot but go to market. I think it will be okay. And you can change also this every. There is nobody who cannot go to market. you can use this sentence so when you find this every you can replace it there is no the answer will be there is nobody but the previous sentence we used but but we will use here but you can use but i i said i say you you just using just erasing this must you can use here Who won't or will not? That means the answer will be there is nobody The answer will be there is nobody who won't go to market. I think you have you have uh, uh, you have clear you have been cleared that uh, when we find every plus noun. then we then we we can change into negative when we can find every plus noun plus must we also be able to change i think i'll give you some homework and when i'll give you some homework then you will um, you will do it and uh, send it through comment box
नंबर फाइव रोल्स वी मे फाइंड डिफरेंट वर्ड इन एफर्मेटिव सेंटेंस लाइक एस जस्ट यू हैव टू राइट दिस just when you find this word or this phrase or this group of word or this word in an affirmative sentence just you have to use or you have to replace this word by a little will be replaced not much you know little is used before our address an uncountable noun that is why we have to use here much and we have to form it negative so when you will find a little then you will replace it by not much suppose there is a little water in the pot a little you will be replaced by not much there is not much water in the pot i think you have understood a few when if you find a few in an affirmative sentence then you will replace it by using not many suppose uh, there is an example maybe i have a few friends i have a few friends here this a few will be replaced by not many i have not many friends i think you have understood this two term number 3 many you can find this many this word in an affirmative sentence that is i have many friends this many will be replaced by not a few many will be replaced by not a few suppose i am providing an example that is i have many friends here many friends many fr many many will be replaced by not a few that means i have not a few friends i think you have understood much much is also an uncountable noun this is our countable noun this is used for countable noun and two these two are used for uncountable noun much much will be replaced by not a little suppose there is much sugar in the pot there is not a little sugar in the pot i think you have understood all these five rules today i do not want to continue though there are some rules also i will continue this more rules on next class so please keep your eyes on my matching online school and the rules what i taught you please practice it at your home and perhaps if you practice it according to my thinking or my view and according to your innovative view perhaps it will be clear to you and you will not face any problem so i do not want to, i do not want to continue more because this five you will practice the, the homework is you will practice these five rules at your home so telling this i can i want to close this class for tomorrow till then goodbye finish kriya